And as Chris is going through old photos, he sees his mom going to church with her mom and dad. When she was of Chris' age, Chris says, I wonder why she stopped going. I mean, my grandpa went to church until he died. He even took me a few times. But we never went to church as a family. Did my mom, I mean, did she just stop believing in Jesus? Then Joy says, have you ever asked her? Chris replies, no, we never talked about it. I wonder what happened. Chris's mom overhears their conversation and becomes emotional. Chris notices his mom's reaction and says to Joy and Gizmo, My mom must have heard me. What if I hurt her feelings? I should have kept my mouth shut. Hearing Chris, Gizmo says, Will being silent fix anything? Then Joy adds, Gizmo is right. Chris, maybe you should talk to her. But Chris hesitates to ask his mom about her faith, thinking that something a pastor should address with her. After Chris, Joy and Gizmo returned from the Superbook trip, Joy says, It's amazing how God was looking out for his people along, just like Isaiah said. Chris agrees with Joy and says, And Isaiah wasn't afraid to speak up even when people didn't want to listen. Now, after meeting Isaiah, Chris realizes he can be Lord God's mouthpiece with his mom. He takes the Bible in his hand and says, I think I will let God speak through me. Then he goes to meet his mom. His mom begins her conversation saying, Your grandmother made that for me after your grandpa died. Lots of good memories in here. She says this, turning the pages of photo album. Chris then says, I know you heard me talking to Joy and Gizmo earlier. Mom, I just want to understand where are you coming from? Mom replies, Chris, it isn't easy to talk about, but you were right. I did believe. I do believe. I always did. It's just that when I went to college, I started falling away. Then I married your dad, and he was raised differently. Once in a while, I would go to church by myself. He didn't mind at all. He even encouraged me. But then you were born, and it just, I guess, I stopped making it a priority. Life got busy becoming a mom, which was one of the best things that ever happened to me, by the way. It just got hard when being involved in the church wasn't something your father and I shared. Hearing this from his mom, Chris then says, Mom, I think God misses you. I get it. You are the mom and you are supposed to tell me what to do. Then his mom says, But Chris, watching you this past while, you have really made me. I missed him too. Seeing that excitement you have, oh, I remember that when I was your age. Then Chris asks, Mom, have you heard about Isaiah? Mom replies, Of course. Then Chris says, God gave Isaiah a tough job to warn people how important it was to turn back to him after they had known him and walked away. Will you read this with me? I the Lord said to Israel, You have come weary but not from worshipping me, but I wipe away your sins because of who I am, and so I will forget the wrongs you have done. After reading these verses from Isaiah 43, verse 22 and 25, this episode of Superbook ends when Chris prays with his mom. As the door to her heart is beginning to open to Lord God again, the life lesson we learn from this episode is that if you are willing to speak for God, He will speak through you. Thanks for watching and God bless. Please like, share, comment and subscribe our channel to encourage us for making better content in future.